Hi, I'm Tim Berglund. Operating Kafka can be a challenge, but it doesn't have to be. Confluent Control Center is here to make life easier. We've got a series of tutorials that show you how to solve real-world problems with Control Center. But first, we need an environment to control. This video is all about how to get that set up. We're going to take Kafka and Control Center, and we're going to run those in Docker, as well as a simulated application to monitor. That'll be running in Docker as well. For your convenience, the example environment is all on GitHub at Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. Uh, that's the repo that we're going to clone and get all the materials from to do the steps in this video. Our example use case is a streaming pipeline based on edits to real Wikipedia pages. Now, helpfully, the Wikimedia Foundation publishes all of the real-time edits to all Wikipedia pages to, as it turns out, IRC channels. Uh, maybe you didn't see that coming, but that's what they do. So using Kafka Connect, we can ingest those changes into a topic in a Kafka cluster. Once the data is there, we can analyze it in various fun ways using KSQL, then write the analyzed data back to Kafka Topics to inspect or use Kafka Connect to dump that out somewhere else. That's our whole pipeline. And in our case, we'll be using Connect to load it into Elasticsearch, from which point we can visualize it in Kibana. All in all, the perfect crime. But first, let me give you an idea of the system we're playing with. Remember, all this stuff is in GitHub if you want to try this at home, and hopefully you do. Uh, this video is all about how to install and run the demo, and the other Control Center videos in the series rely on this one. So you'll benefit a lot from going through these steps. Now, you'll need a few tools. We're going to be using Google Chrome, and that's important. Uh, we need to be using Chrome and not some other browser. Uh, we'll be using Git. Docker and Docker Compose. Now, you probably at least have Git and Chrome installed, and Docker and Docker Compose are not hard to come by with a quick Google search if you haven't used those tools yet. So from there, the first thing we're going to do is clone the GitHub repo containing all our demo materials. This is the Confluent Inc. slash CP demo repo. Note that I'm typing dash dash recursive in the clone here. This is because the repo uses a couple of Git submodules, and that flag will automatically clone these as well as the top level repo. If you've used submodules before, you know it's better to do this now. Just do it and nobody gets hurt. What are those submodules, you ask? Well, one of them is a custom Kafka Connect connector to ingest from IRC. The other is a custom single message transform, that's another Kafka Connect thing, that massages the IRC data a little bit as Connect ingests it. We won't go into the implementation details of those very much, but we will build them. So let's CD into the directory we've just cloned. The submodules are both Java programs, so we're going to run a Maven build, which ends up putting the resulting jar files in a directory called Connect Plugins. Here you can see the output of the build, which are all the jars we'll need to tell Connect about later on. All right, next let's get Docker set up. We need a bunch of services running at the same time to get Control Center and Kafka and our demo and all these things running, and each will run in its own Docker container. Docker Compose just makes it easy to bring those containers all up together in an automated way. When I type Docker Compose in this directory, it automatically looks for that docker compose.yaml file and does what it has to do uh, with the instructions in there. So you can see those containers coming up, and I'll do a docker compose ps to show you what's running. And like I said, there are a lot of things. There's a Zookeeper, there's a couple of Kafka brokers, there's Elasticsearch, Kibana, Kafka Connect, uh, and the Confluent KSQL engine and schema registry processes are running as well. If you rerun PS later on, you'll want to see that everything is still up except for Kafka Client. If you rerun PS later on, you might see Kafka Client has terminated, but all the other things will stay up, or at least should stay up. Now I can peek into the logs of the control center container just to get a warm fuzzy that it's working properly. Uh, you see the HTTP messages that are being logged in here. When you see those, you know, okay, control center's up, everything's fine. The demo we're working towards here is going to use Confluent KSQL. Now there's a lot of machinery there, and I don't want to drag you through all the details. This is, after all, supposed to be about Control Center. So I'm just going to run a setup script that gets things ready. This script is configuring Kafka Connect, it's customizing the cluster name, it's adding alerts and triggers and actions in Control Center, it's creating the Kibana dashboard and the Elastic Search mappings, all that stuff. It's doing a bunch of drudgery that would normally be a part of the development and operational infrastructure of a real enterprise, but in the case of this demo, you don't want to watch me do it by hand, just so that we can see how Control Center works. So this script is doing all that setup. When it's finished, we could go to Control Center and look at our cluster. 
Now here is the control center landing page. And you can see just by looking around, it looks like we have two brokers, which is consistent with what you saw in the Docker Compose PS, if you were paying attention to that earlier. Uh, I'm gonna change the period here to 30 minutes just so we can see more data on the dashboard. So sanity check step one complete, our demo is up and running. Now let's look real quick at our Kibana dashboard and we see data. This is actual live data. In fact, that's just been pulled from Wikipedia since I ran the script. The streaming data pipeline is starting at the Wikipedia IRC channel. Kafka Connect is bringing it into a Kafka topic. KSQL is enriching it in various ways, which we'll look at in other episodes. And it's ending up in this dashboard here. This is in effect our application and it's running properly. Mission accomplished. The next steps will be to go back to the playbook on GitHub and start looking at what's there. You'll get a tour of the Confluent Control Center proper, then a walkthrough of how to resolve various broken things, various pathological scenarios that can happen in a real world Kafka cluster. Consumer rebalancing, slow consumption, underconsumption, failed brokers, and more. So join us for those episodes as we work through all of those great scenarios using Confluent Control Center.